In May 2014, eight men from Astra Vineyard are travelling overland to the village of Tulka in western Romania. We'll load up the van on the morning of Saturday the 10th of May and travel down to the coast, catch a ferry over the channel, and then on through France, stopping in southern Germany for the night, before continuing through Austria and Hungary, aiming to arrive in Tulka on Sunday evening. Tulka is a village with a population of approximately 2,000 people, of which around 200 of these are Roma. The Roma people are despised and rejected in Romania, and throughout Europe, and their lifestyle is degraded due to poverty and cultural factors. Their living conditions are often filthy and unhygienic, with a typical life expectancy of between 40 and 50. Throughout history, the Roma people have suffered persecution, and as early as the 16th century, they were forced to adopt a nomadic lifestyle as they were expelled from many locations. History is littered with examples of prejudice against the Roma. Some countries forbid them to marry their own citizens. They were referred to as a plague. Mass sterilizations were undertaken until a peak was reached in the persecution during World War II. The US Holocaust Memorial Research Institute estimates up to 1.5 million Roma were killed alongside the Jewish communities by the Nazis. Even in the last five years, there are reports from throughout Europe of enforced segregation of the Roma people, with schools being set up where inferior education is offered and segregation. There are cases of violence and hatred towards them. Of course, it would be naive to believe that the Roma people are completely innocent in all of this. There are well-documented cases of crime rates rising in Roma areas, and due to their nomadic lifestyle, they have tended to settle on the outskirts, where amenities, employment and educational opportunities are often inaccessible. We're going over to support a couple called Sean and Sylvia. They live in Tulka and work with the Roma people to provide safe housing, clean drinking water, employment opportunities and most importantly, high quality education for the Roma kids. The Roma kids in Tolka go to the village school with the Romanian children, but generally an inability to read and write has led to them being at the bottom of the class, or dropping out altogether. The team is going out there to build a house for a couple who are currently homeless, and drill a well to provide fresh water. The couple, Maris and Zaranka, have had two children. One was left at the hospital due to their unsafe living conditions, but the child they were allowed to take home, unfortunately, did not survive past a few weeks. It's only by providing safe housing for these families that the children can grow up, get an education and make a life for themselves. And if enough kids can do that, you could see a shift in the culture where the Roma people have some respect from their fellow neighbours. At the very least, this house will save the lives of a family. I'd like to ask you to consider donating to the project. The guys going out there have taken time off work and are paying their own way. We have no admin costs, so all of your donation will go into buying the construction materials to allow us to build this family's home you could help us save some lives.